So I'm going to draw Mango from Investigators, my book. Uh, this is Mango and this is Brash and they are alligators, but they're not just normal alligators. They're alligators that wear vests and they solve crimes. So I always start with the head uh, when I draw either Mango or Brash. Uh, their heads are very similar. Uh, well, their, their entire bodies are very similar, but they have some minor differences. Uh, so I start with the head, usually the back of the neck, and then I draw these two arches for the forehead, I guess, the eye sockets area. And then I draw the top of the snout. Then I draw two smaller arches for the nose. Then I draw the chin or the jaw. And that's the uh, major difference between Brash and Mango, is that Mango has a curved jaw and Brash has a square jaw. So there's the head. And then I draw the body. And the body shape is sort of a, is this a trapezoid? It is, you know, kind of a squarish rectangular shape, but it tapers up to where the body meets the head. So there's the body shape. And then the legs are next. And the legs are usually about, you know, similar length to the body, to the torso. And they are kind of tube shaped, though they kind of, they, they slightly sometimes sort of taper a little bit, get, uh, get a little thinner at the top. And then at the bottom of the legs are naturally the feet, which angle away from the legs and have three toes at the end, which are kind of a pointy W shape or M shape. Um, so there's the legs and the feet, and then I usually draw two, a line near each angle, uh, nearly, nearly, near each ankle to show the angle of the legs and the feet where they bend. So there, there's the legs, and then I do the arms, and often one of the arms is down by the side of either gator, and it usually lines up with the body, just like that. And they, again, have three fingers at the end of their hands, just like the feet, unless there's a reason to see the thumbs, uh, which I will do on this hand. So the, the second arm is going to be sort of a noodly shape like that, and I'll put a thumb on that hand, and there we go, there's the second arm. Uh, so now you can see he's, he's almost done, needs the tail, the tail kind of swoops, swoops out like that, and then it comes back like that. Usually it does not meet exactly at the ankle there. And now it just needs, now Mango just needs uh, details, really. So on the back of each gator's head are some neck ridges, and they each have four neck ridges uh, right there. And then there's more ridges on the tail. And these are, you know, however many fit can go on the tail. Uh, of course, Mango needs some eyes, and he needs all nostrils, like that. And since this is Mango, and he's usually a pretty, pretty happy guy, we can give him a big, big smile, some teeth, and a tongue, and we can fill that in, like that. Uh, now all he needs is his vest, 
Um, the, the gators, they do sometimes go around naked, but when they're naked, uh, they're not really in disguise and they don't have access to all the gadgets that are in their vests. So the vest is pretty simply a V shape up by the neck and then a W shape by the bottom. Uh, there's two buttons on most of the vests that they wear and the gators also have some belly stripes. And there's usually, you know, two or three stripes at the bottom and another two at the top. And there you go. There is Mango from the investigators. Uh, but of course he needs a gadget. Uh, so we should give him some sort of gadget sticking out. And the gadgets attach to the vests via these little, like, extendable arms, uh, which are just, you know, two lines zigzagging out. And then at the end of these little arms, it's a little clamp type thing. Uh, but now he needs a gadget to stick out of his vest. Um, let's do, because... When you're an investigator, you will often have to dig for clues. So I am going to give Mango a shovel so he can go digging for clues. And there you go. That's how you draw Mango from Investigators. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I hope you check out the other First Seconds Sketch School videos. And if you have a chance, uh, go read my book.